Disappearing sea ice is forcing polar bears onto land and into closer contact with humans, which puts both species at risk. Churchill, Manitoba is ground zero for polar bear management, and experts at Polar Bears International are aiming to turn this city into the world's first polar bear safe community. What this does is it sets a number of standards for a community to become certified. There are things like having an assessment of your town, you know, looking for hot spots, dangerous conditions, places that bears can get food rewards. It's then creating a management plan to address those. Our top goal is to keep people safe and also to reduce unnecessary killing of polar bears. Estimates suggest that the polar bear subpopulation living in western Hudson Bay has declined by 30% in recent years. Without sea ice to hunt on, the starving bears are more likely to eat garbage, cannibalize their own cubs, and attack humans. As sea ice pulls back around the Arctic and in Canada and in Hudson Bay, we're seeing sort of the perfect storm of ingredients for increased human bear conflict. So with polar bears spending more time on shore and people spending more time in the Arctic, it really creates that opportunity for bears to get in trouble. In addition to communication strategies and educational materials, different radar systems are being researched at Churchill. The radar systems we're looking at are network systems, and that means we can have them control devices. They could turn on a light, they could trigger an alarm, they could trigger a sound, they could actually trigger uh, what they call a cracker shell to be fired. And they can also alert a conservation officer or a trained professional to respond to the bear. It's something that can come to their phone, their pad, or their computer. They can pull it up in real time and visually see on the landscape where the bear is at. Experts hope that the successes and lessons learned at Churchill can be applied to other communities around the world that live in close proximity to polar bears. We're hopeful that you know, Churchill can be an example for the North and that other communities around Canada and around the Arctic can look there and say, hey, let's, let's do part of that or let's do all of that. You know, it's kind of making sure it makes sense for where they are.